All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about layout. We're going to talk about user interfaces. And this is a topic that, you know, is a little bit different than a lot of the other things we've talked about this semester. We've been talking about code and text, and now we're going to think about display. Like, why does a particular thing look the way it does? And, you know, UI is all around us. It is really foundational to computer science in, in ways. And I think in many ways, it's a really sort of underappreciated part of, of what we study in computer science. Some of you may go through the, our entire program rarely ever working at the interface between your program and the user. So this is a little bit of a taste of that world um, and some of the challenges that are involved because it's actually tremendously sophisticated and really hard. Like think about Android Studio as you're using it right now. I mean, the, the interface is complex. It's got lots of different components, lots of different things going on. And you know the difference between getting that right and building something that's usable and intuitive and getting it wrong and building something that's you know awkward and weird. I mean, I'm sure you have apps that you use that are like really frustrating because things are in the wrong spot or it sort of violates your expectations or it requires too much interaction to do simple things or whatever. So that that those are the challenges that we're dealing with here. The first thing we have to understand a little bit about is why things look the way they do. Like why does the display look like this, right? So let's look carefully at the display of our app and try to identify some features that we're then going to link back to the reason as we look at some of the parts of the MP that we haven't explored yet. So the, the layout of the main screen is not particularly complicated. Um, there's really sort of two parts. There's this top bar where there's a search uh, box and then below it is a list uh, of, of restaurants and that list is uh, scrollable and you'll notice because I finished the first two parts of the MP the list is now sorted uh, by the name of the restaurant, which is pretty nice. Um, so why, right? Like, and, and we're just going to start simple here. Now, if you go into the code for your main activity, you're not going to find the answers here. You're not going to find the reason. There, there's no, there's some code in here that's related to what's happening on the screen, but the code that determines, for example, that the search bar is at the top and the list is below it is not in here. And this is very common. If you look at the web, if you look at a variety of different uh, tools, whether it's building apps for Android or iOS or other platforms, when we start to deal with UI, we frequently find things divided into two, at least two parts. There's frequently code that determines how things behave. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the code in main activity because we're gonna need to talk about it in order to, uh, for example, figure out things like how to handle button clicks and things like that. So when we talk about, for example, how to deal with what happens when the search bar text changes. So right now, if I go over here and I put stuff in the search bar, uh, nothing's going to happen. Um, and we're going to come back and we're going to fix that in, in a little bit. Um, so we'll talk about the, the code that sort of powers the UI. So typically there's code involved in, sorry, just checking on the animals are interacting. Um, there's code that's involved in the UI in terms of figuring out what to do, responding to events, uh, updating the UI as needed when certain things happen, when people do stuff. Um, but then there's also this layout component. And typically the code is in one place. In this case, the code is in mainactivity.java. Where's the layout? Okay, so, so let me show you. We go over here, we go into this res folder, and there's a layout subfolder. And in here are two files that we're going to look at. We're going to look at right now, we're going to look at activitymain.xml. All right, so if I double click this, probably what's going to happen in your version of Android Studio is going to sit here and think for a minute, and then it's going to open up this really sort of uh, frightening complex layout editor. Because this is why the uh, screen looks the way it does. Now, what you're looking at right now, and, and be very careful here, it's like, you know, we were already sort of flying a 747 with Android Studio, and now it's like, it's even more complicated. But um, yeah, be very careful with this. I'm gonna show you a little bit of a, what I think of a, as a nicer way to look at it in a minute. Um, but what's in here is um, markup. I'm gonna show you the, the raw code or the raw text in a minute. But this is the file that determines what's on, why things look the way they do on the screen. So for example, you can see here that there's a search bar at the top and then this thing called a recycler view at the bottom. And that's a, that's a particular way of, of rendering a list in Android. All right, so 
This is a tool that you can use if you start to get better at Android programming to, to build really beautiful uh, and very complex uh, layouts and UIs, right? I don't do a lot of layout in Android. I do plenty of layout on the web, right? Like I'm responsible for the CS124 website. Hey guys, relax. Leave her alone. Um, and the dog has not figured out what the cat means when the cat hisses at the dog. It's back off, but it's cat language. Anyway, I'm not super, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just, I'll just admit this. I am not the best at doing Android layout, right? I'm, I'm okay at doing web layout. You can decide what you think about that based on what you think of the website. Um, but Android layout's a, a totally other beast. Um, but let me show you what I typically rely on when I do this. So I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna click on the code view. Okay, so typically stuff that you work with when you're a programmer ends up being code somehow, right? Even if you see a picture, usually at the bottom of that picture, particularly if it's layout, if it's like a web page, is some type of text, uh, some type of what's called markup language. So what's in here is used by Android to render this particular activity, okay? Uh, and it's called, the, the name of the file is called activity underscore main, and that's designed to indicate what activity it's connected to. Now I'll show you exactly where this linkage takes place because that's actually in the code. Um, but okay, so, so now what are we looking at? So, so this is something called XML. It's not something that you need to be familiar with, but XML is a form of markup language that allows us in this case to indicate how a particular thing is supposed to look. So for example, uh, this uh, particular screen consists of something called a linear layout, a linear layout, um, uh, organizes its elements in a particular linear fashion and you'll see that the orientation is vertical. So that means that the first thing in the linear layout will be first and the second thing will be second. If I put more things, they'll, they'll be at the bottom. They'll sort of, so it sort of stacks things, right? Sort of like a container. Um, then what's here is what's called a, a toolbar. And this is what contains that search widget. So for example, this is uh, the search view is what's present uh, in, in the layout. And so, and then below it, I have something called a frame layout and that contains my recycler view, okay? Um, and again, I'm, I'm not, this is not something that we're really even gonna work with very much for this particular MP, um, but we do wanna talk to you a little bit about it and just show you because I think there's some value here to understanding a little bit about what's going on and having some sense of, of why things work the way they work. Okay, so let's try to perform something somewhat basic here. So, so here's what I want to do. I want to move the, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try moving that search bar to the bottom, right? So let's say that when your boss comes in, they say, no, 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 everyone's moving their search bar to the bottom. We, we got to do that too. Uh, let's try it. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to rerun the app and we'll see if this works. I'm not actually sure it's going to work because it's possible it's going to be too far down to see, um, but let's find out, right? And so what you'll see here is that I made changes to, these XM, to this XML file. Now, if I go over here and look at the design view, yeah, see, this is the problem, right? So now the search view is like gone. It seems like it's not visible anymore, right? So I can use this to get a sense of like what's going to happen, right? Uh, now, I think, again, what's going to happen is that my search uh, bar, yeah, it's, it's gone. Let's see if it's like, well, this will take too long to scroll down, right? So, so that, that didn't work out very well. Um, let's go back and let's fix it, right? So if I go back here, I can pretty much do the same uh, type of um, undo, right? And, and there is a way to get this to work, right? If I really wanted, um, let's see, if I really wanted this to work, I'm sure I could get the uh, search bar at the bottom with a little bit more fiddling, but this gives you a sense of kind of how stuff of this stuff, some of the stuff is, is done right? Like how, how it happens, right? And all of these attributes have, have, a, have a meaning, right? Um, let's try this. Let's try removing this search view. Now, I think if we do this, uh, well, actually, hold on a sec. Uh, here, I'll show you something else. So there, is there like a default value here? Uh, initial value? Let's see. Is this how you, you know, start, start up with this stuff, right? Uh, let's try... Uh, and testing. Let's see if I can just give this a, a default value. So when it starts up, 
it actually has some text in it already. I don't know if this is gonna work or not, right? This is one of those things where if I was doing something like this, I would be spending a lot of time looking up the documentation, looking up examples. There's a lot of good examples online about how to do this sort of stuff in Android. Um, frequently, like when I got started doing web design, I would find a website that looked the way that I liked and I would kind of try to figure out like, why does it look that way? And, and how can I sort of, uh, oh, that didn't seem to work. Okay, that's all right. Um, so I would, you know, mimic things, right? Like pick something that I like, you know, uh, and figure out why it worked out. Um, so this is just, you know, get a little taste of Android layout. Let's 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 try to have a little bit of fun with this. Um, let's see here. What about it? There, so there is something called a text view that I should be able to add. Uh, let's see. Let's say width is match parent. Height is. So the, these values determine how big this is going to be. So I'm going to say wrap content. And then in here, I'll say, hello world. Will that work? Um, it's angry about this. Um, oh, wait, I think I need to put it in here. So I need to put Android uh, value uh, is hello world. Let's try that. Uh, and then these are these. Now, again, the syntax of this is something that we will not expect you to, to work with without a lot of help or guidance from us. It's possible at some point that we'll do a little bit of work on something like this together, but when we do, um, we'll give you a lot, of, a, a lot of support and we'll walk through things carefully together. All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to add like one piece of text to my uh, layout and I want it, it, it should appear below that search bar, but above the top of the list, right? And so let's see if I was able to accomplish that or not. Um, and it looks like, hmm, I, I was, <laughs> looks like I was not able to accomplish that. I'm bad at this. Uh, let's see here. Uh, oh wait, hold on. It's Android text. That's what it is. Uh, it's not Android value, because that would make sense. Yeah, let's try this now. Um, now uh, let's see. Uh, sometimes there's a a quicker way to do this when you're there, there is a way to set up the emulator so that when you're just making changes to the layout you can actually reload the app a lot faster uh, than having to restart it and stuff like that but I, I don't have that set up yet if you were doing a lot of really heavy app development and you were working on layout ah there we go so now you see our text on the screen right we've 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 we've, we've accomplished something right and but but you know this gives you a sense you know again um, you know, maybe the, the ultimate takeaway from this particular uh, small introduction is that this stuff's complicated, right? You didn't really realize that. Like you just saw this beautiful website that loaded up when you went to whatever web page you use and you didn't think about, wait, like every part of that is like really carefully designed with code behind it and spacing and padding and margins and, you know, text sizes and all sorts of things that people do and tweak and think about really hard to try to make things usable, right? Like design is a real thing, it's hard, it's technical, and you should respect the people that do it. Some of you may end up being one of the people that, that does it. And trust me, the ability to build something that maybe not as, is not beautiful, but is at least not terribly hideous is actually really useful, right? If you want to build something that people are actually going to use, it's gonna to have to have a UI. That doesn't have to be super hard. There are good examples and there's some basic principles to follow, but it's probably gonna end up being harder than you thought. All right, I'm gonna uh, take out this text view because uh, I, I don't wanna you know, ha have that in my app or rerun the app just to make sure it's gone. Um, but this is an introduction to this idea of layout. And the other thing I wanna emphasize is in your app, everything is the way it is for a reason. If you are curious about why your app does something, or why it behaves a certain way, never assume that it's that way just because it's that way for a reason. And the last thing I'll point out, because I almost forgot here, let's go back to the main activity. So you might ask, where does the main activity say it wants to use this particular layout? And that happens uh, right here. Uh, so this happens in uh, the early part of my app startup. And actually, I think it's also, is it configured in the manifest? No, it isn't. Uh, okay, so so yeah, so that happens here, um, and this is the place where my app actually says I want to use this particular layout. And if you created a new layout file for a different activity, you would need to make sure that that activity loaded that layout when it started up. So when the code in here runs, it actually tells Android, I want my screen to look like this, and it gives it one of these layout files. Um, 
and and so that's and so that's how everything is linked together. There's no magic here. Everything happens for a reason. 